The information in this video is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. All content, including text, graphic, images, and information contained on and are available through this video is for general information purposes only. Dissection cellulitis.org and its members or licensors make no representation and assume no responsibility for the accuracy of the information contained in this video, and such information is subject to change without notice. So what is dissecting cellulitis? And why is it so confusing and hard to diagnose? Dissecting cellulitis is a rare inflammatory disease of the skin where the origins of the condition are not well understood, there is no standard of care, treatment results vary, there's no formal clinical trial data, and it is part of the follicular occlusion triad. It's important to not lose hope if you've been diagnosed with this condition. Losing your hair, scarring, and discomfort can be overwhelming, but fortunately there are treatments, cosmetic options, and a supportive community around this rare condition. Your skin is comprised of three primary layers, the epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. Unknown processes affect healthy skin. In the early stages of dissecting cellulitis, there is neutrophilic inflammation that occur, which leads to open pustules and bleeding of the skin. These openings allow bacteria and yeast to enter into the pustules. This causes advanced stages, which increase neutrophilic inflammation, lead to loss of hair follicles replaced by scarring, and form sinus tracts to connect bumps together. Since inflammation is destroying your hair follicles and lead to permanent scarring, it is critical to control inflammation quickly. Your own body's neutrophilic inflammation causes scarring and hair loss. Secondary bacterial fungal infections bring more inflammation through open wounds. Generally, the longer it takes to address the inflammation, the more scarring and hair loss will occur and the more likely it is to spread and connect via sinus tracts. Avoid shaving and cutting your hair close to the skin. Ideally, consult a dermatologist that has successfully treated the condition and understands the time-sensitive nature. Some treatment options include topical antiseptics to control infection, topical steroids, steroid injections, laser hair removal, and for more severe cases, surgery and skin grafting. For lower level inflammation, oral antibiotics that also act as anti-inflammatories are prescribed, oral retinoids, is a common treatment option. Oral steroids, such as pregnisone for short-term inflammation management, and for more severe cases, immunosuppressants and steroid shots and zinc for scarring. Some practical tips are to use antiseptic to control secondary infections. Don't pick at or scratch if possible, as it may increase inflammation and thus scarring and hair loss. Don't shave or cut close to the skin and use properly cleaned hair equipment. The condition is not contagious, but avoid touching uncontaminated areas with contaminated areas as you may spread the inflammation on your own body. Visit us at dissectingcellulitis.org where we aggregate this information, engage with the community, and learn more.